Do you have any tens? Nope. Go fish. You got any aces? I'm not playing with you if you keep doing this. You need to work on your poker face, okay? Oh, what a sweet kitty. Oh. Oddcat's oh, been acting weird lately. Really? Yeah. He's staying out all hours, and look, he come back the other day, <coughs> and he had spaghetti all over his face. Well, he found some spaghetti. No. Who cares? My dogs go out and find stuff, too, to eat. He's got a home. He don't need to be going out to another one. Me and Sweet Pea, hey, look, we're like two peas in a pot. We both like, you know, take naps, OK? We both like fried crappie, all right? And then we both land on our feet if you drop us off of the roof. Maybe it's like Lady in the Tramp. I ain't gonna put up with no hanky panky. And they're going to a little alley, and there's an Italian restaurant. Oh, yeah, I bet there is. Look, but lately, my little napping buddy has turned into a two-timing heifer on me, purring like he's met the love of his life. Have you ever thought about following Sweet Pit and see where he goes? You want me to stalk my cat, is what you're saying. That's right. Pet detective. Like Jesse Ventura? Oh, Jesse Ventura was a, a mayor of some California town. He was a wrestler. Well, hey, all I know is he got killed by the predator. That is weird. It is weird. So where'd Sweet Pea go? Hey, no need for Jesse Ventura. I got Sweet Pea under house arrest, Kate, and I'll probably put a chain and ball on him. Sigh, for... that what? door is open. God, I left it open. Good so grief. we've got to follow him and see where he's going. Hey, he's living a double life on me. Well, do you want me to call Phil? He's a tracker. No, Phil don't even like cats. I know the perfect person. He's a tracker and a notary public. Goodness. What's Mountain Man doing here? That's who I call, Kate. I hope that's not a mistake. Hey, what seems to be the problem here? Well. Mountain Man, it's a case of infidelity. He's went off with another woman. Infidelity? He's got a girlfriend. What about Christine? No, Mountain Man, you don't understand it, OK? It's about my cat. Name's he won't Sweet stay. Pea. That's right, he won't stay at home. OK, well, let me take a look around here. Well, hey, he's one say. tricky cat now, I'm telling you. You better bring your A-game. He left the door open. You left the door open. Well, hey, look. Were you trying to get rid of the cat? No, I ain't trying to get rid of him. He's just getting old. I'm trying to do something. OK, well, he's somewhere around here, I'd imagine. Wow. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, Mountain Man, he's like a redneck pocket knife. He's good for all sorts of jobs. He's also old, rusty, and dull as a tube for. Smells like a cat. But you could call him an idiot Travant because he's got tracking abilities. Hey, I just like to call him Mountain Man, though. Looks like he's headed that way, too. Should we take a picture of that? Mountain Man on his knees? No, oh, I don't that think track. so. Make hey, sure. I can't see no track, Kay. Well, they're headed that way and they smell fresh. They're going okay. straight that away. They're headed that way and they That's smell way fresh, way Kay. Did you right get that? They smell here. fresh. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. going through here. This is like Scooby-Doo. Yeah, this is like Scooby-Doo, all right. Go ahead there, Shaggy. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I'm on a wild goose chase. Except I don't see any geese or gooses around here, Kate. Well, a wild cat chase, then. Well, hey. Mount Man, what are you doing? I think she's in there. Hey, it's not a she, it's a he. OK. Put those binoculars away. You're being a creep. Hadn't you heard about the castle rule? That's his castle. He's got a right to shoot you. All right, all right. I've had it with a cat. Come on, let's go to the house. I've had all I can stand with this lost cat for one day. Come on, Shaggy. Hey, look. I can't believe I've wasted three hours looking for that stupid cat. Hey, there she is. That is a he. OK. Where'd you get this toy? Look, this is the perfect example that felines are just like women. 
Well, that'll be five dollars for the tracking fee, Si. Five dollars? Look, every once in a while, you're reminded, hey, don't waste your time trying to figure them out. You big fat rascal, you, you ain't worth two cents. Look, just be happy with the time you get to spend with them. At least you don't have to, you know, spend time with Mountain Man. Five dollars. You know what, Sweet Pea's home. She's well. All She's right. happy. It's not a she, okay? It's a he. <laughs> I'm back to the chimney. Hey, how are you doing today? Just don't let him use that. Hey, that's a good bill. We're here for an appointment for Sal Robertson. All right, y'all would. Y'all can just have a seat in that first room right there. Do I need to take my clothes off now? No, 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 hey, no, no, look, no, no, no. I've got to be naked for him to examine me. Si, let the hey. doctor tell you what you're going to do. I wonder what this guy did for a living side. That's not a real spine. Wait a minute, yeah, it is. The medical profession calls them cadavers. So I quit messing what? with stuff. So I, look. Hey. Oh, hey. Was this piece? Good grief. Hey, Sai. I'm Dr. Mayfield. Hey. Uh, Willie? Uh, Doc, how you doing, man? Good. Uh, did, you, did you break my uh, spine, man? No, <laughs> we were just, uh, <laughs> something was wrong with it. OK. I'll get it fixed up uh, here. Well, no so. problem. <laughs> I got some x-rays to go over and show you. We're going to put these up here. I know it looks a little weird. I don't know if you've seen that before. It looks like a jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> so one of the discs right down here. It looks like a drunk. Cut it out. OK. For a medical practitioner who isn't a psychiatrist or a psychologist, I'd say Dr. Mayfield is handling size barrage of insanity pretty well. Can you kind of describe your pain? It's itchy, moist, mushy pain. OK. 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 okay. Most people would have just tucked tail and ran out of the room by now. But Dr. OK, okay. seems like he's a pretty good listener. What happened that might have caused some of this? I've done this in my sleep. OK. OK. Uh, I was fighting 25 ninjas. 25 ninjas. Yeah. OK. Either that or OK is code for I stopped listening about five minutes ago. The good news is we can help you with this. We'll get you over to an exam room here. That's where I take my clothes off, right? Oh, my gosh, sir. Huh? We're good on there. We, we don't need to get you naked. OK? OK. OK, what I need you to do then is come and go face down for me on the table, sir. and we're going to get you adjusted here, all right? All right, Doc, let me tell you, the last time I went crappie fishing, I caught a pound and a half crappie and broke two ribs. You're going to have to be gentle. OK, what I'm going to do now, if you just relax, and the more you relax, the easier this is on both of us, OK? Oh, OK. Now, what I'm going to have you do is kind of scoot down just a little bit for me. And I'm going to Oh, oh, oh. Good <laughs> Hey, look, I come up here to get fixed, OK? Not to be snapped in half and then laughed at by fat man Willie Robertson. Now. We'll do that one more time right there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he's laughing now. But hey, one day, he's going to get old just like I am. Now, this is the one that kind of scares people sometimes, but you got to relax. Oh, and look, he's carrying about an uh, extra hondo in pounds there, buddy. <laughs> one more. Whoa. You think I've got a bad hunchback? He's fixing to look like an upside down fish hook. Wow. OK, Doc, I feel like a new man here. Great. I thought we could help you out. Actually, my back's been hurting, too. It's real stiff. That's not unusual in a middle-aged man or anything, Willie. Um, Middle-aged man. Yeah, you're getting old. Uh, Middle-aged. No, my back is just kind of stiff. I probably stiff. heard it in the gym. <laughs> yeah. And it's in low back? Yep. OK. I think I got something that might help you with that. I'm down for a try. We'll go on over here and get you hooked up. Has he got to take his clothes off? Uh, no, oh, oh, son. All right, so what are we doing here? So we're going to tilt you back, and that's going to help decompress your low back and give you some relief down there. OK. okay? Let me make sure we got you locked in good. All right. all right. I'm going to let you go slowly back. All right. You ready? Ow! All right, all right. Hang on. Oh. All right, Willie. I'm going to come back and check oh. on you in a few minutes, OK? OK. All right. Oh! All right, Will, here's the choices you got for what you want me to read to you. We got 20 golf tips or a flyer on osmosis. What do you choose? Uh. Golf tip it is, all right. Uh. And look, you know who this is by? Uh. Jimmy Fallon. Uh. All right, Larry, come on. She's on them. Get ready. Oh, Chase, this is so exciting. They're in there, Chase. They gotta be in there. Oh, they're in there. You have to be quiet, though. 
I got 10 to 1 odds that Larry don't cut a feather. I got 10 to 1 odds we're going to be eating fried chicken tonight instead of quail. <laughs> Jace, isn't this cool? Yeah. Shh. 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 Hmm. <laughs> I'm honored that I can educate my father-in-law in hunting. This is the great outdoors, Jace. However, Larry isn't the easiest person to hunt with because he's loud. Jace, why won't they fly? Jace, make them fly. Come on, you dirty birds, fly. Yeah. It's the same reason that most yuppies go into the woods and they say, I don't see anything here. Whoa, 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 come on. That's because they heard you coming and they're hiding. Any moment, any moment. Jace, whoa, whoa, I can feel my heart beating. So we're still working on Larry's stealth mode. I feel like a chaperone and a date or something. It's a mandate. Man and his father-in-law. Ready now. This is gonna be quick. This is it. This is it. Yeah. This is it. Come on up. Come on up a little bit. Right there. Uh, well, uh, why you uh, shoot? Mine won't work. You got the safety on. No, 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 don't tell me that. That's why I told you. Safety on, safety off. <sighs> hey, we got one, boys. One ain't gonna be enough. No. No. Look, the best thing about quail hunting, OK, is eating them little heifer afterwards. We're going to need a lot of mashed yeah. potatoes, biscuits, gravy, butter, sauteed onion. You don't even need any utensils. You don't even need teeth either, OK? Because look, they'll melt in your mouth. Mushroom and cheese. And cheese. But hey, none of this matters if you're hunting with Larry. Uh, because look, you've got to actually kill them. OK, to be able to eat them. Safety off. I was this close of being with you when you shot your first quail. Well, you will be yet. I'm going to be at your house a little longer. Hmm. Just joking. Uh, <laughs> that's the best joke you've told all day. You got me. One weird dude. You know you can buy quail at the store. What are we doing here? I know. You want to go? I will if you will. You want to? All right, let's go. You don't act like huh? you don't want to. Let's let them have their moment. We'll catch y'all later. Stella, bring me my bird. Your safety off. No, you keep that on. For our next competition, the Royal Dunking Booth. Corey, we got it. We have balls already. When I heard we were doing a Renaissance Fair for Goblin's birthday, I didn't expect it to have a dunking booth. On player to the dunking booth. I don't think little Will expected it either. He's just a kid. Well, we ought to know how to play the horn back. Then again, what did he expect when he volunteered to be the court jester? Oh, no. Hey, Will, you got to heckle him. Get the crowd into it. Um. Uh, uh, hold on, I can't stand this. Hold up. Oh, good grief. You want heckling? I'll show you heckling, boys. Where's the woods up to? Si, Will's not the one that you heckle. All right, just see if you'll pay attention. Who's up next? The Phantom Opera guy? Oh. Are you talking to me with this We got the ninja? Samurai warrior to you. The big fat guy in a red shirt with the blouse? <laughs> I'm fixing to fire one at the woods elf. Oh, she's getting mad. Oh! Uh -oh. I don't know what's more frustrating. Size terrible heckling. You're talking about a bunch of clowns. Ouch. Here coming. I got great. Rejected. Or the fact that none of us can hit a target from 20 feet away. The Puff Ninja again. All right. The Phantom of the Opry. Maybe we'd be more accurate if the target looked like Sai's face. Fancy pants dancer there. Ball one. The way I see it, Will's going to get wet. Eventually. But the sooner we hit the target, the sooner we get old geriatric Robin Hood to shut up. Hey, look, fat boy, get a look closer. I don't want you tearing something. Oh! oh. I told you it's gonna yeah. happen this the time. House of Wheels, victorious! Fry, leg me. That's definitely not my job. <laughs>